Welcome to the final week, accountability buddies, of uh, 100 days of making cyberpunks, where you guys help me stay accountable for my work on my comic cyberpunks, which is a <clears throat> you can see I've uh, fallen short on. Um, the I mean, everybody said that my plans were very ambitious, and I was hoping that I could streamline my work, but it it really hasn't especially doesn't help that I've decided to redesign a character to a degree um, I have like four bald characters in the book <laughs> so, uh, so I decided to give this guy cornrows um, I chose cornrows just because it's not a hairstyle I've done too often in my over the years and so I wanted this character to look different than my other characters um, like uh, it it's bad enough that Chester kind of looks like a character that I did years ago called Cement Truck. He had little sunglasses on, and she's got the googly eyes. So, um, yeah, uh, it's going to be a hassle because <laughs> it already takes a long time for me to do this in vector art and the uh, the cornrows are going to be like the most detailed every <laughs> uh, detailed area of every panel because of how minimalist my stuff is so um yeah um yeah and of course this also backs up the you know racial identity of the character because um with characters going in internment camps it's you know uh, i don't like i don't want to have to constantly say how it affects different races more, but uh, you know, seeing that the characters are different races will will help emphasize that in the the book. Um, yeah. So, um, an another way that wasn't on the chart that the book kind of fell short on time is uh, um, I when I first started this hundred days I really wanted to have it so I this episode would be um like me prepping the kickstarter and me prepping the um and me actually uploading it to comiXology um and I've been making you know steps to do those things but um you know I I just uh it's not in any stage that was interesting enough to include in the video, so... <clears throat> so, you know, that's that's been... That's another thing that I'm dealing with, and that also isn't really an excuse to um, what the idea of the comic was. The The idea of this was to see if I could do, produce a monthly comic, and, uh, you know, the first couple of weeks, um, it you know, it looked like I could... And, uh, but, you know, that's in question now. But the good news is I did produce enough to where I can, um, where it seems like I can, um, uh, do almost a monthly book. So, you know, like once a year I'll have, you know, I'll have to do a skip month or something, you know, so that's not that's not that big of a deal um and uh one thing i've been keeping under my hat is that um i'm gonna roll this into another comic that i already have the art done for um because i realized the characters in that story belonged in this universe so after i get the first graphic novels worth of stories done I've got another 15 pages done so um, if I can streamline the process uh, to where I'm like a little bit more efficient and um, um, so if I could streamline it and also uh, um, uh, what was I thinking uh, so I can hit that, and that'll let me catch up enough to keep it monthly to where I hope, hopefully won't have to skip a book once I start. And, and plus, I'm starting with a pretty big backlog. Because um, uh, I think when I figure out my whole wrist 
my my hands burning out issue, which a lot of that is I just need to spend less time on the computer when I'm not working, um, which has been hard because I'm very politically active, and um, you know that's that's my only contact with the outside world a lot of the times, you know, other than kids. So that's a uh, that's an issue. So. Um, yeah, so th there's there's a lot of challenges with me getting my act together that I, I still need to overcome, um, and uh, you know I'm just plugging along, trying to be the best, do the best I can, you know, with what's going on with my life. Because um, if I was drawing just a regular comic, um, like if I didn't do the vector stage, I would definitely be able to keep up because um, the drawing just comes so fast to me. But, um, you know, I've done a bunch of black and white comics that, you know, in my, in my hand-drawn style, and none of those have, you know, seemed to capture anyone's imagination. So, um, you know, like, this one comic store owner kept telling me, it's like, you need to do a book in color that's the regular size, you know, so people will buy it. And while I think that's ridiculous, <laughs> uh... You know, I think he's right about that. It, he's a Nazi sympathizer, so uh, <laughs> so he's wrong about other things. <laughs> yeah, so um, that's where we're at right now. Um, yeah, I'm glad I did that feedback group because I got some uh, some good feedback uh, from my Facebook group. Um, it's mostly just by that one guy, but. Uh, uh, that'll probably change too as you know people see more of the book they'll have an idea where the characters are and um, the stuff I'm lettering right now is uh, uh, oh yeah that was one thing I meant to do too on the up update sheet I wanted to show where I was working on the comic now because I've um, I've lettered quite a bit and some of the dialogue is so good because like uh, Chester is a great character um, even though there's kind of going to be kind of a an analog to Chester in several books I'm working on, so uh, which I think which is another thing I want to talk about to keep the book kind of fresh to me, since I'm so behind on the vectors, um, I think I might start, and I'm so far ahead on the pencils, I might start drawing another book during my drawing time off the computer, and then vectoring this. And so that way, it'll be more exciting for me when when I uh, when I work on it. Oh, one thing I want to point out that's happening on the screen now is that I always save an image version so I can actually read the comic. And then um, uh, I also do do a save as a PDF for uh, for when I get ready to consolidate it into a book for. Uh, um, uh, comicsology and for the printer so and which I'll have to format differently for those but um, I'll see you guys around I'm gonna be posting videos about different stuff and uh, you know like I think I want to do one about Iron Fist and I'll do one when there's a big update on this so until until then <laughs>